Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my taco recipe with you. This is low carb and keto friendly. The tortillas that I use are amazing. If you don't want to make this low carb, you can do it regular with just regular tortillas. That's how Ruben eats it. But I have some special ingredients that make it extra, extra good. So um, if you want more cooking and like keto related videos, let me know. I'm always posting what I'm eating on Instagram. So if you want me to do that here as well, I can. Uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see more of that stuff because I do it pretty much every single day. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing you need is a bowl. You're going to make the marinade. So if you can make this like a day before, that would be the best because then the meat can marinate overnight and then it tastes the best. But we've also done this where like we totally forgot to make the marinade or spur of the moment we've decided to have tacos. So we do it like right before we cook it. it still ends up fine. It's just the longer you marinate it, the better. So let's dive in. So make sure you have clean hands. Um, I don't have measurements for anything because I just kind of throw it all in a bowl, mix it together, and then we're good to go. So um, the first thing I'm going to grab is some olive oil. And I'm making enough for two people. So I have two eight-ounce steaks here. And then I add some coconut aminos. This is basically the same thing as soy sauce. Do a little bit of that. And again, I'm just like eyeballing it. I feel like there's no right or wrong way of doing it. You can just add as much in of whatever as you want. Then go in with sauce. Just a little bit of that. Then I'm grabbing some minced garlic. <coughs> Gross. I saw this TikTok where this little boy wanted to have some minced garlic. And so the mom let him and he took a spoonful. So gross. Then you want to add a shit ton of cayenne pepper. So I pretty much just like coat the whole top with this. This makes it nice and spicy. Add some cumin, a little bit of that, cumin. And then the secret ingredient is the brown sugar. So this is the Truvia brown sugar blend. Technically this still does have brown sugar in it, but it's cut in half with um, stevia. I've put too much of this in before and it didn't taste the best. So do like a tablespoon-ish. And then I cut up a lime and squeeze the lime juice in. So if you're making this like right before you're about to cook and eat it, what you can do is poke holes in the meat so that the marinade kind of like goes into it. I guess you could do that anyways, but that will help so that the flavor kind of stays in there. Then I'm gonna mix all of this together. This is a little bit, right now, a little too watery. I think it needs to be like a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the powder stuff. So a little bit more cumin. And you can add whatever. I mean, this is just what we add. We love it, especially when it marinates overnight. Like you can really, really taste the difference. I've added red pepper flake before. Okay, here we go. You just want the end result to be kind of like a watery paste. You're gonna take your steak, take one at a time, and I just coat it in the bowl. Oh yeah, this was like the perfect consistency. I also get the sides because these steaks are really thick. And I use ribeye steak. We've tried it with different cuts of meat and this is definitely the best. So it's completely covered. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and let it marinate for a couple of hours. But yeah, definitely the longer you can let it sit in there, the better. So I'm gonna set this in the fridge, let it marinate, and I will be right back. Okay, so once you're ready to cook this steak, I put it on the grill at about 400 degrees, and I usually cook it about five minutes on each side, and I kind of just gauge it depending on the size of the steak. I like the steak to be cooked medium, just a little bit pink in the middle. Also, while that's cooking, I put an entire jalapeno on the grill so that it gets nice and charred, and then you can cut this up and put it on the tacos as well. And then, while it's cooking is when I like cut up everything.
So the main thing that makes this keto, because all of that is keto, we all know that all of that stuff is low carb keto, whatever. Um, the main thing is the tortillas. So these are the best thing ever. They're actually not supposed to be tortillas or they don't like, that's not like their marketing, but these are the outer aisle plant power sandwich thins and they're made out of cauliflower. So this comes in a pack. I don't know how many of these packages come in it, but I get these on Amazon and inside of one of these individual packs is six little sandwich thins. So I use one of these every single time I make tacos. And what I'll do is put these in the oven at 350 degrees and I put them directly on the rack. They get a little toasty and I leave them on there for about five minutes. So after I flip my steak, that's when I will pop these in. If you're not doing keto, if you're not doing low carb, whatever, these are one of the brands of um, tortillas that Ruben likes. This is what he makes and we just put these in the microwave or on the grill um, and then we put it in the, what's it called? The who's what's it? The tortilla holder. And once the steak is done, I'll make Ruben cut it up, or not make him, but I'll ask him because he does it way better than I do. It's very tedious to cut up all that steak into fine little pieces. I have a system when I make the taco because I feel like it makes everything stick on top of it. So the first thing I do is I put a little sour cream and I'll put that down first instead of putting it on later because then I feel like everything kind of just like sticks onto it. So then after that's on, I'll add everything else. So I'll add the steak, the lime, the onion, cilantro, the cheese, the jalapeno. Best part to me is the hot sauce. So we love spicy stuff. If you don't like spicy, I don't think that you're gonna like this. To me, this one isn't that spicy. This is the green sauce from El Yucateco. And then we also have the red one. Um, you can get these on Amazon. We normally shop from our local Mexican grocery store. It's right down the street from us. Yeah, put this on. And the key is to mix them together. Cause I, for the longest time, would just do this one. And then I discovered this one. And when you mix them together, it's fire, pun intended, it's fire, it's good. So yeah, I'll have about six tacos. Yes, all six. But yeah, that's my keto taco recipe. I hope you guys liked this video. If you wanna see more recipe cooking keto type videos, let me know. Um, Ruben is a phenomenal cook. So um, one of these days, maybe he can share a recipe too. I think both of us agree that this is our favorite meal that we make and we have it about once a week. It's just really good. So if you wanna see more keto related videos or cooking related videos, any other recipe stuff, let me know. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye. Hi. Hi. Hello. Whining. <laughs>